Prince William and Duchess Kate are considered one of the model couples of our time and always inspire their fans with their public appearances. The two royals who met and fell in love in university have been married since 2011. The prince and duchess already have three children together, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. William and Kate navigate royal duties, trips and state visits designed to prepare them for their future as King and Queen of England. In public appearances, Prince William and Duchess Kate always strictly adhere to royal etiquette and keep a certain distance. But in between these events, the cameras capture the rare moments when the couple exchange one or the other amorous look. During a visit to Cornwall in 2016, Prince William and Duchess Kate got pretty close. In July 2011, the newly married couple paid a visit to Canada. Prince William helped his wife Kate into the red Canadian Ranger sweater. Prince William and Duchess Kate can still laugh together after all these years in the spotlight, as these pictures prove. What is for certain is that Prince William and Duchess Kate have a lot of fun together. As evidenced by this beautiful shot of the couple during their tour of the Bahamas. This photo captured a very intimate moment showing Prince William and Duchess Kate backstage at an award ceremony. Very deep. The fact that Kate puts her arm around her husband is a small rarity at official appearances. Every woman would like to be looked at by her husband, like Prince William does at the premiere of the new James Bond film. Prince William and Duchess Kate also cut a fine figure as parents who have to keep their children happy with balloons on their 2016 Canadian tour. In 2016, they were photographed in the exuberant French Alps. Of course, a snowball fight is a must on their first holiday together as parents. Here's something to smile about. Prince William and Duchess Kate celebrating the British Olympic team together. Sports are a common passion of the couple, which they like to practice in public appearances. Kate and William also like to compete against each other and measure their strength. As long as they hug each other afterwards, it's all good. No matter where Prince William and Duchess Kate appear, they are a real power couple. There's no doubt this couple will master the great task of the royal succession in the future. Duchess Kate and Prince William have their hands full with their three children, Prince George, Prince Charlotte, and Prince Louis. When it comes to raising children, the royal couple leaves nothing to chance. The two rely on these surprising parenting tricks. 1. Talking about feelings. Something that is very important to Kate and William is being able to show emotions and to be able to talk about anything. With their Heads Together campaign, they are committed to normalizing the conversation around mental health. 2. Some rules are there to be broken. The Royals don't believe in any tradition and enforce their own guidelines. In choosing which school Prince George should attend, they decided against the traditional route. 3. Being in the fresh air. It is very important to Kate that the children are outside. For them, an afternoon of games in the garden is at the top of their list. 4. Creative occupations. Whether it's arts and crafts, drawing or baking, for Kate and William, this is exactly the right thing for the small children to be doing. Unlike what you know about the royal family, Kate and William don't seem to mind if things get a little messy. 5. 
connecting early with the culture. A trip to the museum will almost certainly not be on the program every day, but visiting an exhibition every now and then certainly doesn't hurt. 6. Of course, jumping around a bit is also allowed. George, Charlotte, and Louis get the freedom that they absolutely need as children. 7. Normality is important. The family does not seem to lead a completely normal life, but it is important for the couple to allow their children as many normal moments as possible. That's why Kate and William try, for example, to pick the children up from school themselves as often as possible. 8. The Internet Knows Everything This will surprise a few people because supposedly Kate scours the internet like everyone else when it comes to baby and child issues. She is said to post questions under a pseudonym in online forums. These parenting tricks by Kate and William show once again that they are actually trying to lead a relatively normal life. Their everyday routine seems to be less glamorous than one imagines. As members of the royal family, of course, they have some privileges that many others would kill for. But William and Kate try as much as possible to provide us some insights that show us that they really are only human. The British monarchy is slowly but surely changing. Since Queen Elizabeth II is now taking on a very old age, provisions are made for all eventualities. Prince Charles is advancing more and more with his role as future king. After all, he is the heir to the throne and will take over the kingdom as monarch after his mother's death. As royal historian Andrew Lowney explains to The Express, this will not be the only change. While Charles takes on more and more of his mother's duties, William and Kate move on up as well. William and Kate, who are very popular, inherit the positions held by Charles and Camilla. Because they are more popular than Charles and Camilla, they have probably got a higher role in store, Lowney explained. He even credits the Cambridges for ensuring that the monarchy has not gone completely out of fashion due to the many scandals of recent years. They took steps to save it. If they weren't able to, we'd have a real problem. Andrew Lowney. In the meantime, according to the author, the Queen has already withdrawn a lot. We are at a time that can be described as a soft period of government. The Queen is basically putting herself back and not taking on many of her usual tasks, he says. This could, of course, be a strategy to get the people used to seeing more of Charles and Co. Although the Queen still appears at some events publicly, tasks within the royal family are now widely distributed. The royals will need to get used to their new jobs when Charles is king, and this will definitely make the transition easier. This transition will probably only take place after the Queen's death. It would be entirely possible for her to resign and abdicate, but so far she has been keeping the oath she swore decades ago. By promising lifelong service and dedication for the people and the monarchy. However, her retirement is not 100% ruled out. Royal biographer Matthew Denison reports in his new book, The Queen, of a conversation between the Queen herself and her cousin. 
where she is said to have revealed that she was not considering abdicating unless I get Alzheimer's disease or have a stroke. 